Creep. We left her uh, beeper here to her caller that connects yesterday, so we figured we'd come back out here and well, she'll be back. You're okay. And check out some of the art around town. No, you get off of there. That's not for you to jump on. Got a little art sculpture here right in front of the library. What does it say here? Storyteller by Lisa Propcut. 2008. You're okay. She's going to get your beeper. You want to come over here and check this out? Got these nice little picnic areas set up. And there's a fountain here. So yeah, we're just gonna do a little exploring. You're okay, she'll be right back. Take it easy. You got your tail going and you're crying at the same time. <laughs> All right, looks like they've got a little map here too of the actual art walk. We're just gonna kinda make our way around. We're not gonna necessarily follow the the path, you know, directly, but they do have this information here if you want to come out and do the other ones. Isn't that cool looking? Yep. I really like that. It says 1980, but they made it look kind of... Is this City Hall here? It's another cool building here. Huh. Found this nice field for her to run in. She is loving it. Tualatin, Indiana is a small village called Galbraith at a ferry crossing on the Tualatin River. Samuel Galbraith began the very first ferry service in 1853. And in 1853, Galbraith built his first bridge across the Tualatin River. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Tualatin expanded rapidly. The new railroad brought frequent service from Portland. Ben Cummings, a Bridgeport shopkeeper, was the first to set up business in the new town. He purchased lands across from the depot, building a large home for his family, a two-story store and a post office. A stable hotel and two salons were added to the community. Kind of shows where all those first locations were built here and a depiction from 1856 to 1906 is what it would have looked like on the map here. In 1890, John L. Smith established a sawmill close to the river in a wooden portion of the park. Very cool. This train bridge here This is cool, this, you can walk right underneath this train trestle here. Across the old bridge. Oh, they even have a boat access here. Yeah, I saw that. That's oh, nice. Yeah. Nice little dog park area here. We got this nice placard set up here. His name was Kia Cuts. He was a spokesman for the At Atfaliti Band of the Native Americans during the 1850s. For a thousand years, his people had lived along the Tualatin River, but now newcomers were arriving from far from the east. And they've set this little placard up here honoring his land and people. 
In 2007, this bridge was completed, co connecting the communities of Tualatin and Tigard. The bridge spans the river just short distance from where ancient artifacts had been found. When the time came to name this bridge between communities, the name was chosen Kiakuts in honor of a man who sought to build bridges of trust between people. Very nice. Oh, and that sunshine feels good this morning. Wow, what a cool area. And I love that all these, we were, Mama Creep and I were just saying how all these pathways connect. Morning. And we got the old train bridge here too. Gosh, maybe we'll see a train, who knows. <laughs> That's the way to do it. What does this say here? They got a ton of information all through here too. What's this building? This is the Lower Tualatin Pump Station. It looks like a Vinton straight train station, but it's actually a pump station. Huh. Yeah, it kind of does look like an old train station. Yeah, it does. Well, it's because this was where the train ran through, so to this day on the other side of that fence. But yeah, they made it look like an old train depot. Very cool. Some llamas here on the pavement. This house is from 1893. Yeah, beautiful front little yard too. 1893. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, here's another one of those Ice Age erratics. Tribal homelands. Beginning in 1853, the tribe signed seven treaties with the U.S. government, ceding away their traditional homelands for a permanent reservation. And in 1856, the Road River, Chasta, Umpqua, and Til Tilakma peoples were moved to the Grand Ronde Reserve. A lot of tribal history here. I want to look at that. This is cool. This is the fall? Yeah. Oh, it's named after him as well. Okay. So here's the bridge that we just crossed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pedestrian bridge that we just went over, and here's the falls. I wonder where these falls are. Well, I'll tell you here on the map. Yeah, right it here. should say on here. Mm -hmm. So we are here. Mm -hmm. This signifies the different tribes. The Chinook tribes, mm -hmm. the Tillamook tribes. I don't know what the heck this is. Let's see. 100th anniversary of the city of Tualatin. Time capsule. Oh, very cool. Dedicated December 19th of 2013. 1913 to 2013, the 100th anniversary time capsule. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool how these all connect. This is nice through here. Yeah, it is. Very cool. Wow. This is cool. <laughs> She's kind of scared of the ducks. Are you scared of the ducks? Get How pretty. Are you gonna get those ducks this is so cool. 
isn't it? Are you gonna get those dogs? She said. <laughs> I think this is a giant, is this a splash pad too in the summer? Yeah, I think it is. Wow. What a nice area, especially when on a, on a hot day, this would be perfect. Oh, I didn't really realize that was a splash Yeah, that's cool. How pretty is that? It's so cool out here in Tualatin, you guys. We have water trails and- um, This is the uh, Tualatin Commons. Lots of interesting things out here in Tualatin. On a nice day, you guys should come out. Quack, quack, quack. How pretty. Quack, quack. Go get him, Penelope. Let's help here. Absolutely love him. this. Go get him. What a beautiful, beautiful him. area. Go get him. Got some ducks here. Stay here, Penelope. Penelope, <laughs> get over here. How pretty through here. <laughs> oh, come on, Penelope. Sorry about that, ma'am. I want to check this out real quick. Very nice. Good timing too, spring break. And I take it this will probably be on at some point. It looks like there's a little, you know, spouts for fountain. Very nice. That's gonna do it from Tualatin. What a beautiful city. A lot of cool history and just an overall beautiful little place to come visit. If you guys are in Portland, in the surrounding areas, make sure you come down to the city of Tualatin, check out some of the past, some of the history, some of the unique sto uh, stores, sites, and even smells. A lot of good shops, a lot of good food, but that's gonna do it. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. If you already haven't, you can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. But yeah, the city of Tualatin is absolutely beautiful. Until next time, oh, give it a thumbs up too if you did enjoy the video. Until next time, Creeper out for now. Peace.